Tim here from the Deep Sky Eye Observatory. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, sharing the night sky with the general public using a telescope has been challenging. The coronavirus is spread mainly by inhaling water droplets from an infected person, normally through a cough or a sneeze. It can be transmitted not only through the mouth, but through the nose and eyes as well. In order to continue to safely share the night sky with everyone, here are some of the safety measures we've taken here at Deep Sky Eye. We've changed our experience to an outdoor only experience and limited to small groups of 10. Chairs are placed two meters or six feet apart to follow social distancing guidelines. Stand two meters or six feet or apart. When using the telescope, each person must wear a mask. Guests are not permitted to touch the telescope. When a person is finished looking through the, the eyepiece, we have to wait a short time, sanitize the eyepiece and telescope, wait another short time, then the next person can take their turn. As you can imagine, this becomes very time consuming, not to mention will eventually wear down the coatings on your eyepiece especially if you do this a hundred times a week. I had an idea to create a reusable washable eyepiece sleeve that fits over top of the eyepiece. 3D printed, of course. The concept is very simple. Each person would get an eyepiece sleeve at the start of the session, and when it's their turn to observe, they simply slide the eyepiece sleeve over the eyepiece and look at the object in the telescope, and when they're finished, they take the sleeve with them. At the end of the night, we could wash these in the dishwasher um, or by hand uh, to clean them off. This would add an extra layer of protection when they're looking through the telescope. And of course, it reduces the time needed to sanitize the eyepiece and the wear on the eyepiece itself. Other measures, as I mentioned before, would still be followed. Uh, we still have to clean the telescope as well as pause in between each person's uh, viewing. To create this uh, model, um, we use a type of plastic known as PETG. It's a type of thermoplastic uh, polyester that's commonly used in a lot of applications, uh, including personal protective equipment. In order to create the lens for the sleeve, I purchased a $12 poster frame from Walmart that had a clear plastic sheet over it. Um, I cut out the pieces to fit, uh, in my case, 31 by 31 millimeters. I'm sure there's quite a bit of a cheaper solution, but this is really just a first cut at it to see if it would work. The 3D model itself is very simple. I used a program online called Tinkercad, a free online uh, 3D modeling tool to build it. And really it's just a simple cylinder um, with a square 32 by 32 by one millimeter gap um, in order to, to have a place to place the clear plastic. The way I did this is I set up the 3D printer to pause after a certain layer. During the pause, I put glue in the corners of the square where the plastic lens would be attached. In this case, I used UV curable glue. I used this so that it would be easier to work with and I wasn't rushed to try to fit the lens in um, before, say, the uh, glue dried. I think super glue would work too, um, and it's a lot cheaper. Once the lens is glued in place, I sprayed the lens itself with hairspray and continued the print. The hairspray acts as an adhesive to allow the hot plastic to stick to it and seal it properly. This worked reasonably well, although it's not perfect. When the print is done, look for any holes in your model and fill it with glue. And that's it, there you have it. An eyepiece sleeve. I hope you find some use for this project. I'd like to get your feedback 
and any suggestions that you might have for improvements. Uh, one improvement I think I'll make in the future is uh, a replaceable lens holder, very similar to a filter wheel used in astrophotography. Uh, this way, if we have to replace the lens, we don't have to print the entire sleeve. We can just print the holder itself. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and clear skies.